All right, time for us to connect and talk about a tradition that took a turn for one bride. And of course, the internet loves her. <laughs> oh man, you're going to want to take a look at what happened to Julie Ben, the Pennsylvania newlywed, was on the dance oh. floor for the first dance when she dipped very gracefully, but then she dislocated her oh, knee. No. Oh, so her husband, an army lieutenant, carried her off the floor, whisked her off, and went with her to the hospital mid-wedding. She got treatment, pain meds, <laughs> then the girlfriend oh. even returned to the reception. Well, you don't want to miss the party. Three hours later, yeah, you can't miss your own party at a wedding. So she will have to oh. rehab for several weeks. The bride who dislocated her knee is easy to locate online because uh, she's gone viral and you can understand why. But go girl for like oh. powering through that because she must have been in pain. Yeah, the one picture Ooh, she was sort of grimacing. You could see how much it hurt her. It didn't look like the actual dip would cause that injury, but oh, that's tough. Oh. He said in sickness and in health. <laughs> <laughs> she was just testing him out. Keeping his promise. <laughs> exactly. Seeing if he's going to keep that from the get-go. Well, let's see what else is trending this morning. Ooh, this bad boy was found at Big Bend oh, National wow. Park oh. in Texas. I'm sorry to creep y'all out. It's known as a vine garoon, but many refer to it as the whip scorpion. So it basically looks oh, like a wow. cross between a spider and a scorpion with those creepy long legs. But get this, it shoots acidic vinegar from its oh, tail. Oh, nice. So the internet was having a field day with this one. Someone posted, I've always wondered how come Hollywood has to come up with special effects. These guys would make the best sci-fi movie ever. True. Yeah. Don't even need to create yeah. anything. Yeah, so he's, oh. I was reading about it. It says it's uh, nocturnal and doesn't see well. I guess if you just... <laughs> Jab one way or the other. And yeah. catch you. <laughs> Apparently, it eats um, those bugs. What are they called? Oh, I can't think of them. But Millipedes, they... scorpions. No, the nasty little stinker bugs. <laughs> well, Stinks good. Bugs. He gets rid of something we don't like. Okay. <laughs> yes, he's oh, good to keep around. You wouldn't want to come across that. No. no. I remember we were in Lake Powell one year and rolled up our sleeping bags. Yeah. Uh, and underneath one of them was a scorpion. Oh, Amy. Yeah, I know. I would be scary, huh? Yeah. I don't think I've slept on the beach at Lake Powell since then. <laughs> <laughs> Not again. That ain't happening again. Houseboat only. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's take a look at today's totally random poll this morning. We want to know at home, do you binge watch shows or are you good at taking it one show at a time? 78% of Utahns have hopped on the train and we've had a couple people reach out. James says it's the only way that he spends quiet night, especially when the show is exciting and pulls you in. And then Chet says, yes, Outer Banks season three is coming out at the end of the month, which I've seen Outer Banks. Is it good? Carrie, have you you haven't seen? No. It? Okay, that's a good one to binge. Okay. Mama Bear and I, we love that one. <laughs> okay. um, so watch season, the first one, second one. Um, he watched both of them almost in one day. <laughs> when it was a hundred triple digits outside so hey, I guess you can stay cool right yeah I think exactly. it shows real restraint when you get a show and you can just keep on and then come back a week right or watch another. it just one week at a time uh -huh. I exactly. hate that I'll wait till it stockpiles some episodes <laughs> that's what my mom does too and I mean I hate when it's over with so sometimes I like to stretch it out because I'm like I don't want it to be over so quickly I want to yeah. enjoy it and so. there's some big long series out there they could really dominate all your time oh yeah like what happened to Danny right on the money <laughs> <laughs> she she started the Sopranos yeah <laughs> sorry about it all right thanks Danny